welcome back. Um, it's currently 10.30pm here in London, England. And I'm currently actually uploading this vlog. This vlog, I don't know if you've seen any of the previous vlogs. Um, this vlog is a little bit different than normal. But um, I wanted to kind of give you something that, you know, uh, should be of value to you. What it is, is... Recently, I had a conversation via Skype with uh, us co-founder and also one of my mentors, Johnny Bang Riley. And I think there's a lot of valuable information for you guys to learn from him um, from this conversation. So I decided to film the Skype conversation. And I'm thinking, because I, I usually speak to him, you know, at least once a week via Skype, I thought that, you know what, once a week, if you know if we have uh, discussions that I think will be of value to you guys we'll share it as kind of like a, almost like a podcast or an interview series and then you never know what we can do eventually you see how it goes is set up a situation where I can put it live on Instagram and you guys can send questions and comments that you want to be asked or anything that you wanted to be answered based on your own experience or anything you're going through um, through the vlog what you can do if you want to leave a comment in the description below of any questions that you want to ask either of either me or johnny bang Riley, and we can address them in the next time we have a conversation via skype which would be cool finally finally um tomorrow is the 25th of december and what we're going to do as a special kind of end of year present for you guys is we're going to release a film that we released about two years ago as a 10 part, I think I think it was a 10 part series called Tear Up. Um, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what that film is about. What you can do is check out our social media platform, at Us Lifestyle if you can, and we're gonna be flashing up images and videos of that all of tomorrow in the lead up, and that's dropping online at 6 p.m. GMT, I'm not sure what that stands for, but GMT, which is like British title. We're also releasing Tear Up merch, and we're going to release the first edition, and then we're going to release different colorways as time goes on, because a lot of you guys have been asking for it after you saw it in the documentary series that we released. So yeah, man, I'm going to run into this now. I don't want to keep you too long. Try life. Awesome. <laughs>
this is how these nations got their strength together. They got spiritually centered. Yeah. You know what I mean? They paid their dues. They did their things to heighten that situation. And then they went and built their societies. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why their societies are, are were the way they are they were is because of these people's protocols and their patterns. Mm. But we taking their things and not respecting the culture, yeah. which is how did they sleep and how did it, and then they go, it doesn't work. It don't work. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. I took I took matcha at the wrong time and it, it made me weak. You took a thing that makes me Superman yeah. at the wrong time and it robbed your next day. Yeah. Yeah. It's See true. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. You have to respect the thing. You know, when you must take it. You know what I mean? Well, I gave you that recipe today with the pineapple and the mint and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, And no, I briefly saw it, man. I need to check it out in detail. I think, that, I think that's going to be something else. Yeah. I think that going to... If you can incorporate... The coconuts within that mix with the pineapple is it a warm mix or is it because i didn't see it's a cold mix right? Cold. yeah it's a cold mix you basically chop up a green pepper mm. um the geezer uses two so there's one takes the pips out the other one leaves the pips in right uh some mint and some coriander chop it up mm. but i think you should tear it because when it gets chopped, it doesn't know it's wounded. And it doesn't let go of anti antioxidants, you know? So if you rip it, it will try to heal itself and you can get all those benefits, right? Um, I think he juiced it. I'm not sure if he liquidized him. And then he added some coconut juice. Then he added a few spoons of matcha and mixed up the thing and bam, it was ready to go. I'm saying incorporate probably coconut water mixed with the pineapple mm -hmm. but real like juicy real pineapple uh, slices okay I think he just poured in some shit out of a car to, uh, out of a carton you understand then yeah. you sieve that shit so there's no fibre so it's just the matcha and the juices of what you just done yeah. and then um, you're rocking me yeah you won't need to. You won't need to. You won't need to put it through a sieve because you would have juiced it, cold pressed it. Yeah. Everything. The cold pressed juicer will just sieve it. Anyway. Yeah, that's a little bit different than him. I think what he was doing, maybe he was just liquidizing everything and then sieving it. Whereas when you put it through a cold press, you do both at the same time. You know. What I mean? so how did the how do the different components work together then? The Pineapple is what bromelain and stuff. Yeah, I mean now you're talking chemistry. Yeah. All I know is that you see, I look at those things, and I instinctually know. I don't know all the details about mint, but I feel good about it, and I gravitate to it, and I feel it's an energy. Yeah. Coriander, I know it's to, to us as far as getting rid of metals and stuff. So it's also a powerful plant. So I gravitate to that energy. I know you know what peppers do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I gravitate to that energy. I mean, I know what pineapple does as a prebiotic. Yeah. So I know what that energy does, and I know I know what matcha does. Yeah. So you look at all of those tunings, those notes that are in there. Bam! It's hit the human being like this, and you're ready to go, man. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah. It's like this flying monk made me happy. I just like feel joy in my heart. Yeah. You know? Whereas the ruby um, gaba, yeah. that's a thing you can't take in the after. I can't take two hits of that. The first hit, you're just super optimistic and you're ready to go, but you need a target. Mm. You can't just do that and sit in your yard. Mm. For me, I can't do that. I had a couple of bad experiences with it when I got, got anxiety and shit. Like it was always the first one. I was like, "Wow, well, let's ready to go." And I was chatting like a motherfucker before I even left the house. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, we're gonna do this today. Everything was like that. Mm. Then I took another one. Then it got kind of really like physiological. Where I was like, "Oh, this is a bit, this is a bit much." Yeah. Right. 
So I know for me, that Ruby Garber in the morning with Holy Basil, Rodiola, Ashwagandha, um, uh, Lithium Orate, mm. I've been like, bring it. Mm. But not like on a fucked up way. I was like, mm, bring it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was on that. I could do anything today. And this one, this is a thing you can drink all day long, you know? Mm. Because it just, I just, you just get, I'm just fuzzy. Mm. You understand? This is just like, just fuzzy. It's the best way I can describe it. But then I understood that there's amber gaba in this. Mm. You know, amber, it's a very, it's a healing stone, but it's a slow burner. You like, you hardly, it moves you slowly. It's healing process. It moves you slow. Some other healings just go in and rip you apart. But amber is a thing that just slowly just helps your system. You know what I mean? But you, that's why you have to wear it all the time. Right? And this is amber gaba. Okay, so, so it's from the actual... Is it from the, the stone or...? No, I don't think so. I think that's what they just named it. But as far as its as far as its note, its oh. musical note of how it affects your nerves. Oh, okay. Like, there's smelling notes and there's taste notes and then there's effect notes. You know what I mean? The tuning of Ruby is like pretty fucking like drum and bass. Yeah. And this is fucking jazz. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I can use that in the morning, and if I do that with matcha with the two of you together. You're, we're gonna bang, right? I can get that, get that in, and do that deep shit. And then I need to just relax and let this, let the lymphatic system work. I need to, that means serotonin. So obviously, because I'm feeling happy, some serotonin must be being released because there's ginseng in here also. Mm. So I'm kind of like, so I go, this is the convalescent tea. You know, I can do this, batter myself, and then I heal with this. Okay. Because the serotonin. Dopamine and uh, makes my kidneys distill any stress and cortisol and cortisol derivatives, you know what I mean, okay. out of my system. So, how better to do that but giving it a little environment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, and now I'm just serving from the fucking the fairness, uh, the fairness jug. <laughs> didn't even know that you know because if you serve the tea from the teapot as the you know the first person you pour for yeah so the water is still infusing within the thing so the next pour it's a different consistency yeah to the person there so everybody's not having the same taste okay. so when you decanter that into the fairness jug everybody's getting the same lick from this liquor oh, okay they're getting, all getting the same experience. Oh, because it's not still infusing. You just poured it out. Yeah, yeah. You've neutralized the process as soon as you've decanted it. Okay. That becomes, now you understand where the art is. Yeah. Which nigga knows when to just stop it. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, okay, bam, that's the buzz right there. They're going to have a little bit more of an experience with this. And I can go drink it at different consistencies and different temperatures of water and such and such and I'm going oh shit that was the one mm. then I become that sensei if you want that lick off with this tea mm. you have to come to me star yeah because yeah. <laughs> I know the secret brewing time you understand yeah. in the, in the circumstances and what cup best you know because you have to heat everything that you're drinking from <laughs> before the substance goes in so that like this clay can drag heat away from the water mm. which will make your brewing process a bit fake okay so what you put the water in but the, the actual thing has taken heat away from it so now the water is the wrong temperature to get the right brewing okay so, so if I heat this up this is not going to drag any heat from the water so the water is I, the water that I put in is going to be the same temperature hitting the, the seed. It's not going to dissipate. Okay. Because this is already hot. It's not going to take any more heat. So how... how yeah, how, go on. How do you keep... Shame. 
How do you keep, well, you have to keep the cups hot. Mm? You, you, you don't, so how do they, it's just the, it's the material of the cup that keeps it at a temperature, or do you have to keep the cups hot? Just keep pouring hot water over it. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep pouring hot water over it. Okay. All the time. <sighs> yeah, man. Oi, this, this gadget right here, you know, I'm trying to be the peaceful guy, but this ain't doing me no favours publicity-wise, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about that today when I was like, I've done a little thing live on the thing, and I was like, people just going, yeah, typical him, he'd find something like that. You know what I mean? But I'm like, seriously, I never ever thought of this as a weapon. I just thought about it. Just I really thought about this as just cool for breaking up the tea. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, that's a wonderful progression, because years ago I went, hmm, that's handy. Yeah, yeah. But, but now I'm just like, like seriously, this is just for breaking tea. <laughs> Even though it's a wicked cosh, also. <laughs> <laughs> nice bit of tool, this yeah. man. What's it, what's what's it like introducing this to your stack now, like with all the adaptogens and stuff? Because I've I described it today as feeling a pressure in the brain initially. Yeah. Like a like a, I can actually like a tangible, physical. Um, feeling of my brain kind of tightening up and then it goes Poof. that's the best way i can describe it okay like it feels like literally it's like rewiring my brain okay because i think it's just wake up things that are just like, you know you get up in the morning you're a bit stiff yeah i think that initial pressure of my brain going Ooh. okay i'm woken up now i haven't been there I've had the use for me. The part of your brain switches off. Yeah. You know I mean? Got to get it, got to get it, got to get it, got to get it animal side, you know what I mean? Got to pay bills, got to fuck a chick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got to be strong, got to be respected, you know? And that's how they that got us focusing on all of that shit. That's like 2% of the brain. Yeah. Got to plan for the future, got to build a new society, Got to destroy this the protocol and system that's in right now because it's anti-human yeah. and one everything starts popping off. Yeah, you need all of your brain to do that. Yeah. And I, I'm just telling my brain that I'm for real, you know, because I'm like, oh, we're gonna have a different lifestyle. Uh, I'm sorry to the serum meals really quickly, and I know I promised you we were gonna be an alcoholic, but sorry, change yeah. of plans. Yeah. We could be fucking superheroes, son. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know you wanted to retire and be, get old and be a bear, have a bear belly and die of cancer like the rest of your family, but we ain't finished with you yet. Yeah, for real. What? I can't be an alcoholic? No, actually, you've got to be an athlete. Yeah. How about that? Catch yeah. me outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this t shirt. I'm kind of thinking about sitting down with a geezer and going to him, listen, all right, I understand the psychological notes right now. Mm. Same way when you smoke weed, you know what I mean? You kind of, initially, when you start going into a coffee shop, whatever, and you're choosing a bit of weed, you're choosing it for smell mm. and taste. And then you have the psychological experience with the weed. And then, as you've been smoking weed for a little while, you try different types of weed and you've logged to how you felt. Then you start choosing the weed neurologically. This one gives me this effect. This is where I want to be with this tea. Mm. And eventually, I want to sit down with my man and say, um, this is how I want to feel. This is I want to create this thing to make people train hard. Mm. Let's put a little bit of this with a little bit of that. And a little bit of that and call it us tea. Yeah. You know what I mean?